We have a definition of a main page since we created the project. This main page is created immediately when we create this Android and iOS projects. So that means that if we run this application, this is the only page that will appear and the first page that will appear, of course. Now, this doesn't make a lot of sense if we think about it. If we run an application to add new contacts, the first thing that should appear is not the add new contact page. Now, I did start to define this in the main page. I could have created a different one, but that means that we should create another page that eventually will list these elements. And in fact, change the first page to be that new page. So let's take this step by step and let's first create a new page. So here in the contacts project, I am going to right click, select add, select new file. And in here, I have the option to select from forms, some different files for content pages. In fact, you see two of them for content pages and two of them for content views. Let's focus on the content page for now. Here, I am going to see that two options are pretty much identical except for one that says SAML. So what is the difference? The difference is that if we select the forms content page option, we are going to be creating a page, but that page will not have a SAML file. The page will have to be defined entirely on C sharp. It is the other one, the one that we want, the one that creates both a SAML and a C sharp file. So let's go ahead and select that one and set the name to contacts page. Now let me show you how to do this exact same thing on Windows. To create this new page in Windows 10, you would also have to go to your contact project, right click on it, select add, and in this case, select new item. The templates on Windows are going to be a bit different, but you can also find summary forms here to the left and see that there is also a content page and a content page C sharp. These are the same that we have just found on summary forms over on Mac. The content page is the one that is going to create both a SAML and a C sharp file. And you can see that the extension is actually a SAML. If you select the C sharp file, this is the one that will make you define the page through C sharp entirely. So just make sure that you select content page and that you name this contact space and click on add. Now let's jump back over to Mac. On either Windows or Mac, now that you have the name of the file, let's just go ahead and click on new and we will now be able to see this C sharp file with a new contacts page that inherits from the content page, just like the main page, as well as its XAML file. So we now have this entire new page. However, even if we have created this new page, we still don't have any way to navigate to it. And in fact, we shouldn't navigate to it as much as it is the first page that is displayed to the user. So how do we change that? Because right now, by default, it is the main page, the one that is showed first. Well, to change this, we will have to navigate over to the other application files that were already here the moment we created this project. And that is the app.saml.cs file. There is this other app class inside of my project that was created by default that will be very useful for us in a couple of scenarios for now. Let's just notice that in, the, in its constructor, there is a definition of the main page. The main page is a property of the app class that defines what page is the first to be displayed. In this case, it is set to the default main page. What we can do is change it to another page. 
Now in here we could simply set this to a new contacts page, which is the one that we have just created. However, if we need some navigation inside of our application, we should do something slightly different. Now, the next explanation is going to make more sense if you have experience with iOS. So if you have experience with iOS, you can just very easily grasp the idea that I'm about to explain. If not, just bear with me and be a little bit patient. So what we need to do here is set the main page first to a navigation page. This doesn't mean that we need another page, that the navigation page is going to be displayed, but that the navigation page is going to help us manage all the navigation. Similar to what happens with iOS, with Xamarin, we are going to need kind of like the navigation manager. In iOS, it is called the navigation controller. And the navigation controller can have a root page the one that is actually displayed at the beginning. And the root page in our case should be the contact page. So let me go ahead and define that. Instead of setting this to a new main page, I am going to set this to a navigation page. I notice that the constructor has an option or an override that is going to be receiving the page that is going to be the root. Here, is where I can set this to a new contacts page. What this means is that the, the navigation page is going to be created and assigned to the main page. The main page that is the property of the app. However, the navigation page, again, is not something that we see as much as it's something that is going to manage the navigation. We are setting the root page that is the first page that is going to be displayed. Now, what the navigation page will help us do is that as we navigate to other pages, we automatically will see, for example, in the case of iOS, that a back button is added, that a title bar is added. So everything is done for us by just setting the main page to a new navigation page. Now, this is, of course, going to be way, way clearer when we start testing our application. For now, just bear in mind that the navigation page is not something that we are going to see. Its root is the one that we're going to see. And this is how you change the first page that is going to be displayed to the user. Now, it is not longer going to be the main page. Now, it is going to be the contacts page through the navigation page, which will now enable us to perform some navigation quite easily. Now, in the next lecture, let's go ahead and start adding that navigation. What we're going to do is start working with a toolbar.